Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna see how to make an amazing rope. Alright, so making rope is gonna be really simple and quick. Surprisingly simple. Alright, so let's see some reference first. So I found this side how the uh, ropes are actually made. So you can see this is the kind of rope that we're going to make with three threads. You can do something more complex if you want. But uh, there's a lot of information here and it's pretty cool. But we're going to base it off this rope. Kind of like this, which is the most generic, uh, generic rope uh, that we have. So it's going to be actually very simple. Let's start by creating a circle. And let's call this rope. Let's go inside it. Let me turn on points. You can see the number of points here. And we need to change this to polygons actually. You can see now we have uh, 12 points here. We actually want three, just three, because we're gonna uh, be designing that rope that we saw, which is three uh, threads. Now we're gonna create a line. This line is going to be the backbone of the uh, each of those threads. And then we're going to copy those lines to those points. So we need those points here. We need the line there. And the line is in the wrong direction. We want it to go in this direction. So we just need to change the direction here from 0 to 1. Going in that direction now. Now let's make it longer. It's going to need more. Uh, it's going to be, need to be longer. Let's put 10 for now. And now we need a lot more points here, let's say 50. So we have a lot of points here and we have that. Now, what we need to do is put a poly uh, wire, poly wire here. Poly wire is gonna make this, uh, it's gonna make the thickness of the ropes. You can see, you're starting to see what we're going for here. Let's make the divisions eight so we have enough divisions and put the wire uh, radius to 0.5. And that is looking pretty cool. Let's make the circle also the radius, uh, the radius 0.5. So you have the threads kind of bunched together like that. Now what we need is actually twist this, uh, this rope. So it's going to make a twist here before the poly wire. So we're actually going to twist the, uh, the curves here. So we're not dealing with all that geometry. And uh, we're just going to twist it in the uh, x-axis. We're on the x-axis, change this to the x. Now let's start twisting. You can see the rope, it's going to start shaping there. We can even see the result here. Now you can start to see how the rope is taking shape. And it's pretty cool. You can use this for something. Make an animation out of this. Let's uh, put about 60. Looks OK. You can tweak it and you can do whatever uh, amount of twisting you want here. But for now, let's go like 60, 70 looks all right. And once you subdivide this, it's going to look amazing. So you can see if we go and subdivide this here, hide the, uh, the wireframe, you can see this looks cool. It looks pretty much like a, like a, um, like a rope. And the other cool thing is that the poly wire actually generates uh, UVs. So if we go uh, make a quick shade just to see the UVs, you can see we already have UVs there. So that's pretty cool because we are not going to be uh, having to deal with UVs. You can see if I go to press uh, space five, go to the UV view, you can see we have the UVs here already laid out for the wall for the ropes, which is pretty cool. Now, this being Houdini, we can go to the line here and change the length, of course, changes to whatever we want, and the rope's gonna be uh, growing. We can actually make an animation out of this, it will be really cool. But you can see, as we make this longer, see, it's starting to lose uh, the resolution, so we need to tie the points to the length. So if we have uh, like we have like a one to five ratio here, so let's just take this number, drag it here. I just double click this, drag it here, and say uh, 
make a relative channel reference and multiply this by 5. 5, not 20, not 25, just 5. So now you can see if I show the wire by pressing uh, uh, Shift W, you can tell a wireframe like that. You can see the wire is, uh, is like that. We have 50 here. And if we start making the, the line longer here, you can see the resolution grows with it. So that's pretty amazing. Seems like it's not actually changing. It's looking pretty cool. And uh, we can also just go, we have a twist here, but we can also make like a bend here and bend the rope as well. Let me just uh, show this. It's over here, so we need to move it towards the rope there. You can see we're bending it by this amount here. We can bend the rope pretty cool. We can still, of course, go and uh, change the uh, length of the curve. You can see it's going to animate through that curve there. You can make like a frame of this and or some letters out of this and animate this. And it will be really cool, actually. If you want to make the 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 uh, rope out of more threads, you can just go here and change it maybe to five. Now you have more threads there, but uh, the uh, twist, I mean the polywire, might be too uh, too big. Or you can change the radius of this guy a little bit to make them fit better. Or just change the polywire radius here. You can kind of tie them maybe with an expression. <laughs> tie them uh, with an expression and make them uh, change the radius automatically and, and you can just uh, just not do any work and that's it if you want to make more threads you can just change the value here change the uh, radius here or the poly uh, wire radius here and you, you have more threads with your curve and everything works you can even like that looks pretty cool that could be on top of another curve or something all right but we can stick to maybe just three looks cool and the polywire 0.5 and that's it all right now that you have this uh, rope maybe you can do some really nice simulation like this and maybe i will show you next how to make the simulation all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. It was really fun. Hope you got some ideas and start making some procedural stuff with Houdini. Let's keep learning together, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!